Hello, welcome to this tutorial and today we are going to update or add components to our Tecla Structures library. Reason being is to speed up our modeling and detailing process in Tecla Structures. So if you take a look on the screen here, you can see a component we, create, we created previously for a concrete bridge deck. So I created this and uh, I want to include it or add it in my Tecla Structures library. So whenever I want to create a bridge I'll be just pulling it into my working area and create the bridge now let me just come to navigate and turn it around here like that I did a sample of this and if I bring this back this pane uh, when and click on this I'll be able just to click define the points to locate this deck and locate it right there so this is how simple you can make or you can speed up your work by adding the components you use frequently into your library so what you do just pull it in and add it to your model now let me just delete this so i take you in step by step on how you can add or update your comp your library in your, in your tecla structures now i'll right click on empty screen on empty space on um, applications and on component I'll come to new group in here I'll type uh, component just type component 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 right there custom component custom component there we are we check some spellings there custom components custom 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 and once you've typed that just go ahead and click ok now the next move will come to this button here then now uh, we'll click on it then we'll come to define custom component I'll click on that the moment you click on it this dialog box of components wizard dialog box will come up we have two uh, i mean one of four pages now once you've done that we want the type we want to define the type of connection we don't need a connection here we just need to create a part or add part into into our library now we have on the first tab we have types and notes and we have position and and, uh, and and advanced now in this particular case we'll work with part We'll select on part then uh, once you've selected on on part i'll come to position here and i'll leave it at, at uh, the way it is uh, uh, on direction i'll leave it at auto and position just leave it at, at the middle position now at advance i'll just check that and i'll go back to the first button in here i'll define the name of my component or or uh, this is a simple macro now i just type concrete concrete deck concrete deck i need uh, underscore concrete deck deck concrete deck mm, i'll give it three now once you've done that just go ahead and uh, check your spelling prior to making a step now the, the the next step is to just go and click the next button right there so it read the instruction first before making any step here we uh, on the component objects in the model select the objects that will form the custom component now i'll select everything here i'll select everything there and once i've selected that i'll go ahead and click next now uh, part positions in the model select one or two positions I'll, i prefer two positions because at what uh, at one particular point i'll be putting this component at an angle so the two points will help me play with my angles now i'll define this point as my first selection point and uh, select on that point right there so once you've done that it's very simple go ahead and click finish and you are done so the moment you click on that make sure uh, the moment you click on that come on your right hand side and up applications and components and try and track your component right here so I'll scroll down 
and try to look for it. It is here, but it doesn't have uh, a, a thumbnail. So first of all, prior to placing or uh, placing our, uh, our thumbnail for this component, let me try if this component is working or it, or it can be used uh, in our model. So first of all, the moment I have invoked this macro or this component, you can re read at the bottom end here, pick the position. My first position will be here and my second position will be here. So you can see I've placed this component without without modeling it afresh. So this is how we can improve our library and this is how we can uh, uh, speed up our modeling process. Now, the next step is now to give it a thumbnail like I did it here. So how do we do that? Just hide this for the time being i'll come to navigate and i want to turn this round into a position that it will look somehow uh, uh, attractive or uh, presentable on an image or an on an thumbnail now let me just drag it and place it in, in that position then uh, i'll try I'll, I'll come to i'll come to view here and come to a screenshot then I'll click on sc on screenshot here like like that and the screenshot dialog box will come up in here we have some parameters to set up in order to pick uh, the thumbnail properly now under options here we need a white background we don't need the background of tackle structures we, we just need a white a plain white background now I'll go ahead and click apply and I give it an OK right there by, by clicking OK. So make sure you check print to file. This print to file will pull this image and take it into the screenshot folder of this model here. Now I'll go ahead and uh, take a screenshot of this, uh, uh, of this component to give, uh, to represent uh, the component as an image. Now Prior to doing that, let me first of all hide this uh, grid because I don't want uh, uh, th this grid to appear on that thumbnail. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide it. Once I've done that, I'll come to pick view. I want to pick the view and I'll define it from here. I'll go all the way and define the view right there. I'll, I'll leave it right there. Perfect. Once you've picked your view, go ahead and click capture button and the snapshot has been created so what you do just close this once you've closed that follow this thumb, uh, this uh, screenshot under this folder under the folder of this component and how do we follow that just come to folders here and uh, come come to c drive there and go straight to tackle structures models double click and track down this folder I'll track it down under D category here. It is Delta Bridge Deck. I'll, I'll double click and open it. I'll double click I'll double click screenshot here. So this is the one. This is the one. Let me just drag it because I've generated several of these. So this is the one. I can pick any though. So I'm going to pick this. I'm going to pick it or open it straight away. I'll double click on it. Once I've opened this uh, this uh, image I want to crop it it's optional you can use it the way it is or you can crop it to make it slightly smaller though so I'll drag it slightly and place it r right there and drag that and slightly trim extra trim off extra spaces so this is what I want and what I'm going to do right now I'm going to save this copy so I'll give it concrete, I'll give it a name, concrete, concrete deck underscore four. I'll give it that. So I'll go ahead and click save and I'll, I'll track this image on this folder called logos. I'll click save and there it is. I'll go ahead and close this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to track this, the image I've just edited. Now I'll go to desktop here. And I'll come to logos here and I'll get my image right here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to either cut it, cut it or copy it. And I'm going to copy it, copy it and uh, go back to my uh, tackle structures model. I'll open that and go come down right here. 
on the same same uh, folder open it and I'll come to screenshot here and I'll paste it inside here remember it is concrete deck 4 so I'll close this so once I've done that I'll come to applications and components or just pull it back and I'll come to this macro or this component I've just added here I'll right click and come to thumbnails I'll click on thumbnails here and uh, I'll uncheck this default image I'll uncheck, I'll uncheck that and I'm going to add an image or and add and a thumbnail so the thumbnail I created here is concrete deck 4 I'll pick on that and click open so you, you can see it here and you can see the root here so what I'm going to do next is just to disable this the default image and the moment you, dis you disable that you, you will see the that appearing here it is 3 there we are and we've added that so we can give it a try I'll right click and come here and redraw so we'll get back our we'll get back our grid line here we have our grid line in this in this space and let's try let us try this I'll, we'll click on on it and we'll snap on that spot and snap on this spot and we'll find we'll have our deck in place and this is how you can create this and this is how you can speed up your work or in, in, in modeling technical structures. Now once you've pulled this in, you can proceed with your with your modeling in technical structures. Now let me just populate this to just show how you can uh, use this to build your bridge. First of all, I want to populate it in uh, along the y-axis. So prior to populating it, I want to define or check the length of this or width of this. Uh, deck. I'll come to distance and I want to check this then uh, this width and that is 2880 so I select on it right click and come to special copy here and click linear then um, on this copy linear dialog box here I'm going to target the y-axis here inside y-axis here I'm going to feed the same same length or, or the dimension we measured here 2880 2880 and how many components of this do we need we need approximately 20 of this because that will be 20 times 2.8 that will be a huge length now I'll go ahead and click copy here copy and we just wait and see what next and this is how it looks this is how it looks I'll go ahead and click OK I'll click expand and this is how it looks I'll delete this and this is what we have we have a bridge deck in place and this is how it looks perfect so in, in, in just a click of button you can just go ahead and pull in uh, the component your components and come up with a good uh, a good structure so this is uh, a, a concrete bridge component we've just added into our library in technical structures remember you can access that component if you are not comfortable on, on how to to model this component and add it into your library you can access this in uh, from civil Max website just come here and this is where we are you can just access it or you can view it further you can make it bigger and you check take a look you see the components how it looks so this this is where you can access it and remember this is a model done in Tech Class 2017 and you can use it in any new ver ver version above 2017 you can add it into your into your buckets right there and give it some time to respond and once it has been added into, into your bucket you can go ahead and view your, your your bucket right there and go straight away and check out and go with the payments right there after adding all your details here you can add all your details here and go ahead and, and click that and submit your your order right there and you, you'll be able to access this model and use it in your working area use PayPal and you can make the moment you make payment you you'll be able to download this model and apply it in your work now let's switch back to where we were before we were here and th that is how we can add or improve our library in tackle structures. 
thanks a lot for watching this channel and this video in, and if this is your first time in this uh, channel and this is your first video to pump in in this channel please don't forget to subscribe and stay safe stay at home coronavirus is real bye bye